up a really cute sensory container. I thought that this would be a perfect project now that the kids are out of school or getting out of school. I thought it would be something really fun that kids and parents could do together or just something that kids and parents could enjoy all summer long. Now I'm going to talk about the plants in this sensory container, but of course, most importantly, you know me, I have to give you some tips about making sure that these plants thrive in the summer heat that's coming up, that's actually already here. So you know, of course, I'm going to talk about fertilizer, but we'll get there. So stick with me as I talk about this really cute idea, something really fun for the summertime with the, for the whole family. All right, in here we have this blueberry. This was the pink icing. I don't know if you remember, we planted this blueberry a while back and it had no blueberries on it at this, that point. And now it has tons of blueberries on it. So this blueberry is actually gonna satisfy the sense of taste for children and for parents. Then also I've added in some really nice mint. We have orange mint and chocolate mint. Not only do these trail over the pot so they make a beautiful spiller, but they're also great for smell and for taste. Then we come into nasturtiums. These aren't in flower yet, but these are so fun because kids could even plant these by seed because they grow so easily by seed. But what's really neat is once the flowers bloom, they're edible, so those can go into a salad. Then we have here this gorgeous lantana. I'm gonna add more lantana into the mix because lantana is really great. It has a neat scent, but also visually it's stunning and it attracts tons of butterflies. So I thought this would be a really nice visual sense for children to see butterflies land right on this lantana plant and pollinate it. Then of course I had to add in a sunshiny sunflower because sunflowers are so perfect. And know what would be really neat to do with the kids after the sunflower bloom passes, dry it, and then the birds will come and eat the sunflower seeds. This is a unique plant. And this one I'm putting in just for the visual, the whimsy of it. This is a papyrus, and this will look really neat. Just add a little texture to this sensory container, something cool for the kids to look at. Then I wanna continue on with touch. It's really important to have something soft in this container. So this is perennial lamb's ear, which actually could come back year after year in this container, or if you're done with it at the end of the season, you could plant it in the ground but it is so soft. It literally does feel like a little lamb's coat. And I thought that would be really fun for the kids to have something to touch in this sensory container. Then of course, what would summer be without some gorgeous zinnias? I love them because they're so cheery and so happy. And you know what else is really neat about zinnias is that they make excellent, excellent cut flowers. So I thought this would be a really good final addition to our sensory container for the summer. Okay, we have this beautiful container. How do we maintain it through the summer heat? We can't always rely on the kids to water it all the time. So what I did was I added some soil moist crystals right into the soil. That soil moist helps hold the water and then actually gives you a little time. Like if you go away for the weekend, it could help you prolong a little bit of the moisture in this container. Now, when we get to the summer heat, Think about this though, water is important. You may be watering this container every single day to keep it really happy and really thriving. I've got a great tip though, because I have a favorite, favorite summer fertilizer, and that is fish and seaweed. Fish and seaweed is completely organic, so very safe to use with your children around the plants. They might notice it's a little stinky, but it is such a great fertilizer for the summer months. You can actually use it as often as weekly, and it'll really help the plants thrive. It actually brings the soil to life and it actually adds flavor to blueberries and to herbs. That's the kelp in it. And then the kelp also helps the plants become more disease resistant and it adds moisture to them. So an excellent fertilizer to help this beautiful sensory container thrive through the whole summer season. Thanks so much, see you next time.